Hey everybody, what's up? Wonka Bongo here. Just gonna make another video. Um, yeah, so as uh, I've alluded to on my socials, I've got a new lighting rig that I'm gonna set up. It's gonna be a very DIY setup. So um, I'll cut to the materials and let you know uh, what's up. So let's do that. All right, so these are the materials right here. Bing, bang, boom. Uh, we've got these uh, LEDs. So these are daylight white. They're in a flexible strip, self-adhesive. I splurged a little bit. I got a set that includes a power adapter with a dimmer switch, so that'll be good. Okay, then I've got uh, material that I'll be using uh, as a diffusion fabric. I went kind of cheap. This is a set of two, and these are actually shower curtains. But they're white, so it should be fine. And then this is, I got this, this is a 12 inch uh, cake pan and it's uh, three inches tall so uh, the plan is to line the inside with the LEDs and then to cover it with the diffusion fabric. So the other thing that I need to actually pick up is I need to get a screw uh, or a bolt and a nut, some washers because I plan on cutting or drilling out through the cake pan so that I can use some existing um, like a lighting stand that I have. So I'm going to bring the lighting stand fastener with me to the hardware store. So that's right, taking a trip to the hardware store in a bit. See you then. All right, back from the, um, I was going to say grocery store, but that's not it. The hardware store with some hardware. I'm going to use this. Um, I'm going to use that for the mounting system. Now I've got to get a hole, or some holes, drilled into uh, part of the edge of the cake pan so I can sink this in and uh, get that done. Yeah. All right, so now we got a sweet hole in there. All right, so now we're gonna sink this guy in here. My wife did an amazing job so that the fit is perfect and then I'll be using that as my mounting. So after you've drilled the hole, it's a good idea to, to clean the inside of your, your pan off to remove any um, debris. Um, it's also worthwhile whenever you're trying to stick anything on that you make sure that the surface you're sticking it on it is nice and clean because uh, that'll make it uh, easier. The other thing I'm going to try here is since I didn't want to have another hole for the power, we're just going to have it run out the side, which should be fun. But in order to do that um, gracefully, gracefully, sure, I'm going to clamp the edge of it down so that it's out of the way, and then line it with the, the LEDs. So here we go. So yeah, as you can see, I've started going around the inside rim. It's not pretty, but it shouldn't really matter. All right, so once you have your strips installed, you're gonna wanna sink your, your screw in and get that secure. Yeah, so I just used a, a shower curtain. I did a, a big swath of it to make sure that we cover this. Um, and now what I used is I've used this uh, band with Velcro to secure it on. And uh, that's the basically what I did. Now I've been trimming away the excess fabric. Uh, but this part of it, I mean, you know, I, I trust you can put a lid on it yourself. All right, so if you've followed my steps properly, you should end up with uh, something that'll give you a pretty nice effect. I've got it on full blast right now. Uh, I can dim it down so you can kind of, if you're using it as a fill light, it's kind of nice. You can get it to, to adjust accordingly. Um, there it is off, and here it is full blast again. So. Not bad, um, but yeah, it'll give you a shot of the actual light itself. All right, so here it is. Uh, I'm gonna turn it off. Oops, turn it off. There it is. Oh, hi, Megan. He's got the, the band around it. So I've just got the power connection. As I said, it's, it's going out from the edge around. There's how the mounting worked out. I think that worked out all right. Uh, then of course, what you're gonna to wanna to do is hook that up to your professional lighting stand. 
So as you can see, I've got it on this uh, adjustable mount, mount for angle. So I can tilt it back and forth, adjust the pitch, as well as a swivel. Um, comes down into this nice tripod, and uh, there you go. Hi again, Megan. All right, so this is what it looks like uh, from my stream setup, my stream cam. Uh, I've got both my key light as well as my fill light enabled. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick demonstration with them both off as well. So here I am without either on, and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn on the fill light. It's a little different. And there we go with the key light on as well. Uh, as a bonus, here's Holly. She's such a good kitty. Bye! Okay, well, uh, I hope you had fun doing this project if you did it yourself. I think it worked out pretty well. I'll leave links to the materials that I used in order to uh, achieve what I got. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, bye!